Hello Mamasals! On July 20th, 2021, Chanel released their Fall Winter Pre-Collection or 21B at their boutiques. The collection was inspired by one of their young models, Ola Brudnitska. Virginia VR used Brudnitska's instinctive and masculine feminine style as an inspiration while adding a bit of dash and punk in there. The combination of Rudnitska style and Chanel resulted in a fun, modern yet elegant kind of look. This is why you'll see many contrasting colors such as black, white, pink, shades of grey, and playful motifs and textures. Basically clothes that will make you feel young and look good without sacrificing comfortability. In this video, I will take you to my local Chanel boutique to check out their fall winter pre-collection items. I will try on some of their clothes and some of their handbags. Before we get started, hi, my name is Kat and I make luxury videos mainly focusing on Chanel and its history. If you love anything luxury and Chanel with a dash of humor, humor and fun, please subscribe, like, comment, and follow me on Instagram. Alright, so what are you waiting for? Grab your drinks, grab your cookie, or snacks, whatever you have, and let's get shopping! The first handbag that I tried on was a small Chanel 19 in the color light gray. It is made out of lambskin, and for reference, I am 5 foot tall, and it sits slightly low on me. The color does remind me of the 21A gray, so if you're looking for a neutral gray in the 19, I think this is a great alternative. For this season, the Chanel 19 comes out in other colors such as green, light pink, and brown lambskin. It also comes out in white lambskin with shirling, camel suede and shirling lambskin, black and gray wool, pink and black cotton, and black and ecru. Then I tried on one of their seasonal styles, the hobo handbag. It comes in gray and black lambskin. The boutique only ordered the black and it is so cute on. I love every detail of this bag, from the chains to the pearl turn lock. I also like how you can wear this multiple ways, from crossbody, shoulder, and as a pouch. I really love carrying it as a pouch. It looks so cute, especially with the little details. I really love the overall look and design of this bag because you can get so many different styles from it and it's a great bang for your buck kind of thing, you know? The leather is soft and supple, kind of like the 19 with an extra oomph. Love it. Next, I tried on a similar style to the hobo but in a flap form. It's like the classic flap and the 19 had an affair and this was the result of their union. Here she is worn as a crossbody and I didn't get to try it on as a shoulder bag because I already knew it would be too long for my frame. Then I tried on a mini caviar business affinity in the color green with light gold hardware. It also comes out in black caviar. So if you're looking for a mini bag, and caviar, this is the next best thing. I think it is a cute piece with ample space to store your essentials and can be worn as a top handle as well. However, I'm not fully in love with the color because it does not fit in my wardrobe at all. Plus, it kind of reminds me of my son's green army men. The fifth bag I was able to try on was a trendy wallet on chain in the light purple in lambskin. The color light purple is very muted and pale pink. The camera couldn't capture its true colors, but it is more of a very light pink compared to a light purple. This is making me kind of think twice about my reservations for the light purple pearl crush. Oh, I don't know, we'll see. As for the chain of the wallet on chain, I can't. They are way too long for my petite frame. Again. You can also ask your fashion advisor for a chain shortener instead of buying it on Amazon. Here is the light purple compared to my iridescent pink flap. As you can see, it literally pales in comparison and I got Pinky's bad angle too, so oopsies. In person, it is definitely more of a very light pink. I also saw the light purple boy bag in caviar in person, but I didn't get to take a picture because I stopped at another boutique and I was feeling a little shy. However, I can say that I like the color of the light purple on the caviar more versus on a lambskin. Then I got to see the dark gray trendy CC in lambskin. As you can see here, it almost looks kind of black in the video, but under the lighting, you can see it being more of a charcoal color. In person, it is a very nice dark gray. If you need another dark bag in your collection, 
that is not black, dark gray is for you. Again, I saw the dark gray boy bag in caviar in person and it looks just as stunning. However, I didn't get to try it on again as I only had an hour to spare, but it's a really nice dark gray. I would have to say that the images from the website, the boy looks a little lighter on there. Next, I was able to try on this beautiful pink, black, and silver sequin mini. The hardware is ruthenium colored, kind of like dark silver kind of vibe. It is a special flap and look at just how it glistens, even when the lighting isn't the best. The sequin details are just as stunning and kind of like a retro cube kind of vibe. Then I got to try on the stunning black and white tweed mini. It doesn't make my heart sing like the beige tweed mini from last season, but it is a stunner nonetheless. This is definitely giving me a grunge cool girl kind of vibe. Perfect for all of your fall winter outfits. Next, I was able to try on the gray shopping bag. This is perfect for my boss women out there carrying your laptops, iPads, and the whole house with you. I tried it on as a crossbody and I shouldn't have. It is not meant as a crossbody. But you know what? If you bought it, you do you. Wear it how you want it. I love how simple it is compared to the Deauville tote because the logo is so not in your face. However, it does have a Chanel metal on the strap. Then I got to try on a black flat bag in distressed calfskin and aged gold hardware. It reminds me of the North South Boy bag but in a utilitarian form. This is Chanel sign to you that you need to be prepared for the next season because there will be war over the iridescence. Just kidding. Anyways, I'm not the biggest fan of the bag, but I do appreciate the details that they put in them. As you can see, the buttons have CC in all of them and the back plating is just gorgeous. Finally, I was able to try on a black flap bag in calfskin with gold hardware. I really love the interwoven chain details around this beauty. I honestly think that this is a great alternative to the classic flap, especially how much a classic flap costs now. Mm, child, no, no. It does sit a little low on me when worn as a crossbody, but I should be able to shorten the strap because it has four grommets like the classic flap. I'd like to add that my fashion advisor did show me the rose gold hardware on the black classic flap. I don't know why I didn't take a video of it because maybe I was a little unimpressed or I wasn't really looking for another black bag but in a different hardware. The rose gold color was more of a copper tone and I think it's great if you love anything rose gold. I think it's great if you want to zhuzh it up with your black bags. You know, add a different hardware in there. If I didn't own a black classic flap yet and price isn't an issue, I would definitely get this because it's something unique. Now let's move on to ready to wear. A little disclaimer, I was only interested in the cardigans so my fashion advisor only showed me the cardigans available. The first one I tried on was this pink and cashmere silk cardigan. Here you can see that the buttons are made out of heart shaped CCs. It felt soft and plush to the skin. However, I felt that the color is a little more peachy and I wasn't a fan of it. As for the overall look, it looks way too mainstream and simple for me. Then I tried on their classic two-tone cardigan in pink and light gray. What I love about these are the disco buttons. I also like how both the pink and the gray complement each other so well. It is also a little bit different from your traditional two-tone cardigan because it has the slits on the side. Next, I was able to see and I didn't try on this cardigan because it felt a little too outside of my comfort zone. I'm also not the biggest fan of the back because it is a little too loud for my liking. Then I tried on this e-crew cashmere and silk cardigan with heart CC buttons. It felt extremely soft and delicate. However, the design is too simple and mainstream yet again. Next, I tried on this light pink embroidered tweed jacket. It fits and feels so beautifully. And as you can see, the details on these are simple yet chic. It has Chanel written all over it without literally putting Chanel all over it. It is a beautiful lightweight jacket and the price point compared to their other tweed jackets isn't so bad. Again, I am not the biggest fan of the color and it will not fit anywhere in my wardrobe. Now let's play a little bit in the dressing room and try on their other items from the previous seasons. Here I am with the Ecru black, gold, and pink cashmere wool and alpalka jacket from the Metiers de Yacht. Did someone call for Cruella? Because it is giving me 101 Dalmatians kind of vibe. 
It's a pretty jacket, but again, it's not for me. Here we have a cropped pink and blue cashmere cardigan. I brushed this cardigan off a few seasons ago when my fashion advisor showed it to me. Trying it on again, I think, I think I'm in love. The cut hits me perfectly and I don't think I need to get any alterations done, but I'm going to bet that this will make the sale next year or two years. Maybe not, who knows. If I don't get it, oh well. And for the grand finale, va va vroom! Oh, who is this woman? That confidence, that style, like, oh, this bitch was made for Chanel. Oh, she is fire! The top is from spring and summer 2021, and the skirt is from cruise 2020. Again, goes to show how Virginia style is great because you can mix and match different seasons to create an amazing ensemble. One thing I didn't find worth it is that the skirt is made out of viscose. Viscose is relatively a cheap material and I don't want to shell out almost 2200 for viscose stamped in Chanel. The top is made out of silk, so I will sit on this one and ask myself how many wears will I get from this um, can I realistically see myself in a crop top in the next 10 years maybe not who knows we'll see overall I wasn't the biggest fan of the pre collection the theme sounded really cool and amazing but the way that it was executed I wasn't a fan of it I feel that Viard used this season to reach to a much younger audience and to keep up with what's trending right now for instance I feel that this overall collection was made for Jenny Humphrey from Gossip Girl or Effie Stonehem from Skins, especially the shoes because they reminded me of the ones that the girls in my high school used to wear. As for the handbags, I was slightly disappointed with the light purple. I was expecting to be a little more saturated, a little more lilac-y, lavender-y, but instead we got like a muted light purple. I think the gray and the dark gray are really beautiful and get it only if it makes your heart sing, not because, oh my gosh, everybody wants it, so I gotta get it. This collection doesn't currently align with my wardrobe and my style, so I am passing on the season yet again. What about you? What did you think of the collection? Do you currently have any favorites from this season? If so, let me know. Again, if you like these kind of videos, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and comment.